Hi everyone. In this video, I am explaining about the concept of power quality evaluation processor. This power quality evaluation processor will be based on four steps. That is the variety of different causes and different solutions that can be used to improve the power quality and uh, equipment performance and uh, the investigating following the general steps the third one steps can involve interaction between the utility supply system and the customer facilities and the final one that is evaluation involves existing power quality problems or one that could result from a new design or from proposed changes to the system this evaluation procedure consists of measurements solutions from that the possible solutions from the possible solutions you will obtain the consider the solution on economic basis and from this the optimum solution we have to consider regarding the measurements you need to record impact of power quality variations problems that will be correlated with uh, possible causes when coming to the solutions these solutions are evaluated using a system perspective and both the economics and the technical limitations must be considered and regarding the possible solutions the solutions are identified at all levels of the system from utility supply to the end user equipment being affected then coming to above possible solutions you need to consider the solution on economic basis and from this consideration of the solution on economic basis you will choose in the best optimistic solution that will be depending upon the the type of problem the number of end users being impacted and the possible solutions by the consideration of above points the evaluation of the problem regarding the power quality identify problem category problem characterization identify range of solutions evaluate solutions and optimum solution the basic steps involved in a power quality evaluation in the case of identifying the problem category that is either the voltage regulation or all imbalance or the voltage sags or interruptions or the flicker transients or the harmonic distortion this this will be these are the causes we have to identify at where we are getting the problem in the power system then coming to the problem categorization that will be entirely depending upon the characteristics the things we are measured in the entire power system that is the measurements or data collection that is from the measure, measurement of the quantities and from that measurements it will gives the values as the causes characteristics and the equipment impacts then coming to the identify range of solutions you must be identify the range that is either at the utility transmission system or at the utility uh, distribution system or the end user customer interface or the end user customer system or the equipment design or specifications first of all you have to be identify the range at where that problem will be existed then from that identification we will go for the evaluate the solution process in that evaluate the evaluation of solution process we will considered the modeling or analysis procedures and from that modeling or analysis procedure we have to be evaluate the technical alternatives and finally the optimum solution we have to be chosen from the evaluated solutions 
बेस्ट पॉसिबल सोल्यूशन